What's up, everybody? Welcome back. One of my rare videos. Should we close that door? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Filming at Costco. Oh, whoa, whoa. After hours in the warehouse. What a difference that makes. That's wild. Oh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Special guest, David Zaritsky. Hey! How are you, pal? Hey, Luke. Welcome to my coffee home. Coffee smells so Welcome good. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my home. This coffee does smell good. Fresh out of the Nespresso with the Nespresso. This video is brought to you by Nespresso. This, it is. Can you imagine Nespresso sponsorship? The things we could do. Oh, my God. Nespresso, if you... But anyways. So, this is going to be a kind of a discussion video, which a lot of people really enjoy. On yeah, both of our channels. They seem to, right? Just, Just because I think we can kind of tap into things that people are thinking and kind of want to talk about, but yeah. maybe don't have somebody to talk about it with. I, I, I agree. And it's almost like you watching right now are the third person in the room. So yeah. the two of us are chatting and you happen to be here. So we may ask your opinion from time to time. Yeah. So the premise is um, I went to Disney recently uh -oh. and did the Galaxy's Edge Amazing. Star Wars. Thank you. It was incredible. And I've actually done it twice, and it was more uh, entertaining the second time around, I think. Why do you maybe think I was, was a little uh, overwhelmed the first time. Okay. And then this time, I was with my wife and one other person. Yeah. Shout out to Paige. Hey, Paige. Um, so I was kind of able to go through it just by myself while they went off and did some of the rides in Hollywood Studios. I feel like Paige and Kyle would be good together. Paige is 19. I don't feel Paige is appropriate for Kyle. <laughs> no. Let's move on. No. So anyways, um, I kind of started to think about how, of course, when it comes to merchandise and marketing mm -hmm. and just everything Star Wars, it's just so much more available mm -hmm. and in your face than Bond. Yeah. Whether it's films, clothes... Every toys, aspect. Lego, everything. Yeah. So I wanted to get your opinion. Okay. On we'll start with the films. Sure. So back in the day, we would get a Bond film every year, year and a half, two years. Yeah. And we're talking these are films that are iconic. They're upper nineties on Rotten Tomatoes. They're great films. Now it's like every six years, mm. seven years. If we're lucky. And are they as good? So my first question to you. In comparison to the two franchises, we get a lot of Star Wars content yes. versus next to no Bond content. Which do you prefer, volume-wise? It's it's tough because um, if, if I say something like, I prefer them to eke out really good content and take longer, mm -hmm. that really doesn't follow any example right now because there's right. so much Bond content that comes... Oh, sorry. Uh, Star Wars content that comes out, and I, I do believe that like 50% of it doesn't appeal to me, right? Um, which is problematic. I mean, obviously, the the films, other than Force Awakens, which I actually kind of liked, the other two films that came after that, not so much. Yeah. Um, I liked Book of Boba, I liked Mandalorian, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't like Obi-Wan, I wasn't crazy about Andor, um, Solo. You, you do like you, Rebels? Oh, yeah, I like I've Rebels. i turned on to Rebels now. I do like Rebels. I didn't think I'd be watching a cartoon at yeah. 55, but here I am. It's about the story. It's you a know, story. It's and filling it, some gaps. It, it feels like it's like a 26-minute Star Wars mm -hmm. film. So I like well-written, well-thought-out, character-driven Star Wars movies yeah. that satisfy my itch. Um, Ahsoka is coming out soon. Can't I, wait. I think that's going to be very it's, good. It's but I had good. high hopes for Obi-Wan, and it was shite. Yeah. I despised Obi-Wan. So I do think Disney has sort of wonkified it, but I will say this, from the movie standpoint, I can't then say, oh, but look at Bond, they wait every five to six years, but you get these amazing films because That's right. I'm not overly happy with No Time to Die. Spectre, although it's grown in my appreciation mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. No Time to Die for obvious reasons, yeah. it's still middling. Skyfall was really good. Yep. Quantum, you can argue with. I have a certain weird affinity to it. Casino Royale was good. So. Literally, if you go back to 2006 to 2023, I think we had two really good Bond films yeah. in that huge expanse of time. Yeah. 
and a couple of okay ones. And then up for debate with, okay, so whether one of them is bad or not. So I don't know if I answered your question or you I did. just went round, you did. And round and round Well, I mean, you kind of, so I, it brings me to kind of a follow-up question. So when you're getting something, we'll start with Bond. Every five years, six right. years, you get a film. You know, No Time to Die, I started my channel my Instagram and my YouTube pre no time to die. Right. So I had like every couple of weeks, there was a new clothing item or a new merchandise item or a new leak or new, whatever. There was things to talk about all this anticipation. It mm -hmm. comes out and you're like deflated with star Wars. Maybe they're coming out with one or two things a year. Right. But when you watch them say something like Obi-Wan, yes, overall, you didn't like the series. I did not. But was there any parts of it you enjoyed to almost kind yes. of wet your beak? In a sense. Yes. And the thing about Obi-Wan that I like is there were certain characters that they gave us, like the young Princess Leia. Mm -hmm. I thought she was fantastic. She was fantastic. She was great. Yeah. Um, and there were other like ancillary characters that I thought were interesting. But um, yeah, <laughs> look, I with Bond and with Star Wars, the one equality is I would rather have anything than nothing. That's yes. And yeah. so when they came out with Obi-Wan, I wasn't like, you idiots. Yeah, you're this I was is too more much. like but you're giving me something. Right, right. And every oh gosh, I would say every two to three months, Disney is giving us some Star Wars. Yeah. We're not getting that with Bond. We're right. getting books. So the Ian Fleming found it I can't believe I said that. The Ian Fleming publications are giving us books, but we're getting nothing movie wise. Yeah. yeah. So Star Wars is winning that battle. Right. From a content standpoint. By leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. So, by the way, is that, I mean, I don't mean to quit pro quo this, it's your channel, but I noticed of late, your channel has gone like Star Wars Bond, Star Wars Bond. Yeah. Do you feel that pull to Star Wars because it's so prevalent in your face? I, I 100%. I mean, the Galaxy's Edge thing kind of sparked it, oh. but it's like, I could I can go home and like I rewatched Obi Wan. I I saw it when it was new each week, and then I just rewatched it. Yeah, okay. I mean because for somebody my age, you're talking about the prequels. Hayden Christensen and Ewan yeah. McGregor back That's together true. is incredible. And then even one of those final scenes with their last battle where half the mask is off. Yeah, Hayden Christensen's little monologue there is is great. It is great. So there's bits and pieces, and for me, my Number one issue when people tease the idea of maybe doing this with Bond is I don't want the storyline to start getting all yeah. spaghettied out. Ooh. But when it comes to Star Wars, I feel like Disney, whether you like the films or you don't, whether you like the series or you don't, they have done a good job of keeping it all linear. Mm. They're, they're telling the story. Even if you go on to something like Disney Plus, just to take it down to like a five-year-old level. <laughs> If you go on to Disney Plus, it flat out says watch in timeline order. And you can go through and they've got films and series sprinkled in together so you could literally watch it all. They do it in very order. Well. So my yeah. issue is with a Bond book, it's like, what does this follow? It's just a new story. Yeah. And a lot of us like the well, fact and that. And even the movies don't stories. follow each other no. necessarily. So my thing is I feel like you could really muddy the water with like a a Paloma mm -hmm. series or uh, amazing race type <laughs> reality show, you know, whatever it is they're doing. I just think 007 race to, to adventure race 007 to millions. race to race death to millions. To millions. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but you know, it's like, I, I think my overall opinion with the star Wars side of it is it kind of scratches an itch, whether it's just the best there. show just down there, just to the right, to the right, just whether it's the best show or not, they are high production value, you know, spending yeah. millions on them. They're getting, you know, if Obi-Wan wasn't Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen, we'd be, I don't even think I'd be making this video. Right. I'd be enraged. But it is it is kind of satisfying. It is. It's satiating. You're it right. It fills a need. Whereas the other thing is with Star Wars, you do feel, and not everybody will agree with this because of what Star Wars has become to some people, but you do feel like they have a plan. Yeah. And they're very vocal about the plan. So I'll give you a perfect example. You went to Galaxy's Edge. You were reinvigorated. A lot of people go to the Star Wars celebrations. Mm -hmm. They're usually held like in Orlando and other places, yeah. Texas. And 
literally it's three to four days of people hearing what is the plan of action around Star Wars releases. So they they involve the fans in the trajectory of this galaxy, of this franchise. So everybody has an expectation right. of my life can continue on. So you leave Galaxy's Edge and you know you come back with a Kowakian salacious crumb for me. But might need to take it out. You uh, I will. You see his little hand. I did that on purpose. You you basically <laughs> get reinvigorated because you know there's a future. Yes. With James Bond, we believe there's going to be another film. Yeah. Are we a hundred percent certain? Would you stake your life on it? Well, no. no. I mean, and even the the Aaron Taylor Johnson rumors are really sparking because there's rumors he crushed his screen test and he has been cast, and then he got asked, and his answer was very um, vague. Very but then big. there was another answer where he was like, you know, I want to spend more time with this person and this person. I, I don't have time to do these things. It's kind of like, okay, then which one is it? It's like you get a little breadcrumb and you think, oh, this could happen any second. And then you get another one. You're like, this is not well, happening. And I feel like sometimes the powers of be get mad at fans because we get excited when we hear that. But that's all we have. Right. So why would we get excited or why would we get upset at fans about that? <laughs> I'm putting this on. Keep talking. So keep people talking. were walking around the parks with these on their shoulders, as you will see here so shortly. Take a, take a look at this. Pretty guy. cool. Pretty damn screen Absolutely accurate. Amazing. Too. And he's got like, uh, so this is like a full animatronic puppet, as you can see. Isn't that great that it's a puppet, though? Because you know it was a puppet in, in Return of the Jedi. You know, it's not like it was actually CGI. I Guest know. appearance. I'm going to have to, he's, now I have to pay him. He had a couple lines. I like when he puts his hand behind my head like he's holding on. <laughs> Stand by. Special guest, number three. What are your thoughts, Salacious? I think he's a Star Wars guy. Yeah, Ubu Ubu Rabi. So you could just do a video about this. Yeah. I think it'd be over by now. But. All right, let's keep talking. <laughs> Just, <laughs> um, salacious. So one thing I did want to point out too, because now that Marvel and Star Wars are under the Disney umbrella, I think Marvel's gotten a little carried away. Not to go down this oh. path, but even oh, the yeah. new Guardians of the Galaxy, the third and final. Did is, you see it? I haven't seen it yet. Okay. But that's because I haven't seen so many other things Sad. before it. So it's kind of like... oh. You might be a little it's lost. hard for me exactly yeah i even tried watching the newer ant-man and i thought the same thing so oh, the star wars Ant-Man was drek that's there it's you terrible. go i i don't and know i've kind of lost interest because it's become well, difficult to follow so here's the thing so i think with star wars they took a lot of shots on goals and more than 60 to 70 percent hit i believe yeah i think with marvel they've absolutely diluted the franchise yeah and now most of their shots on goals are missing but the other thing is they they seem like they're pushing certain narratives. Yeah. And I, I feel like Star Wars hasn't like fully blown up in that direction. You could argue that point. Bond, you know, No Time to Die, kind of. Like he was, you know, like dad Bond blowing him up. I mean, what's the message you're sending right. about blowing up that character? Is there a message? You know, Do we not read into it? Post-COVID, everyone's sad. Let's get even sadder. Well, there's that. But I mean, I just, I feel... To your point, I think the reason why I, too, am maybe been a little bit more reinvigorated around Star Wars is not just the fresh content, but, you know, things like our friend Salacious, mm -hmm. the products that are out there. They're everywhere. So coming tomorrow, you'll see this when you come back on Sunday, coming tomorrow, I have a box this big coming in. And I, I've been waiting, and I mean this, since 1983 for this item to come in. But I have so coming in. this a Black Series Biker Scout helmet. Oh, hell yeah. And they're hard to find, yeah. but I got one from Hasbro Pulse. Nice. Which is Hasbro's specialty ordering website, Hasbro Pulse. We can get the like the vintage and the retro figures. And this thing's coming in. I'm thinking as much about that as I am the Bond stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a holy grail, plus new merchandise all the time. Yes. I mean, how is the yes. gift shop at Galaxy's Edge? It's overwhelming. Overwhelming. I mean... I actually went into one and it was because, you know, you can build a lightsaber, which I did on the channel, but mm -hmm. then you can build a droid, similar experience like from, a droid. from top to bottom.
but then they have merchandise and i saw one of the t-shirts i was like this is soft yeah. it's, it's, they've just got everything you can think of from cups to t-shirts to paperweights it, like they've got like um bazak the card game that they oh, play yeah, yeah. Some, bazak, like yeah. the chess board like it's sabak sabak it's sabak there's there's a couple fair my knights of the old republic people will know it's pazak and mm. Sabak. I'll show you. I'll Sabak show you. is what uh, Han Solo plays with Lando Calrissian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. And the dice? Do they have the dice? They have the dice. The chance cubes? They have the chance cubes. <laughs> so. Can you do a Watto? Hey, Annie. What you doing? Little boy? Annie? Little Annie? Hey, it is you. You call these portions? He sounds like my grandpa. Hey. Honestly. hey. <laughs> Hey, Luke, get your ass he back sounds here. sounds like an old man at a diner complaining yeah. about, like, his ex. Hey, hey, I asked for these to be tight. These is the soup running. too hot? Is the soup too cold? He called the America? soup I could see through my face in it. You ah. have a spoon? Hey, honey, levitate me over to the <laughs> diner. I gotta change my diapers. Honey, when you get to be old and you laugh, you tend to poop your pants a little. What happened? Sit down. <laughs> We're off the rails here. <laughs> um... Can't edit that out. But no, I mean, the merchandise thing you and I talk about all the time. Clearly, yeah. we've got a little bit of a Yeah, and this is, this is why we set up here, because it's not to say that Bond wasn't without merchandise, but now right. it's like trickles. It's yeah, like trickles. When was the I last think, time a toy came out? Well, aside from the Lego stuff. Right. And, and the Matchbox cars. Nothing. Playmobil, yeah, that's it. Three things. Yeah. But that's three things in... Because I don't think they did anything Five similar... Years. But they didn't do anything like that, Inspector. Or no. I mean, you're basically saying this is the first time they've done any sort of toy since the Brosnan. They era. had some remote control stuff, Inspector, but it was far and few between. Like Disney has. Put... I'm talking things you can go to your local ah. Target or whatever, yeah. mass produce. Or find in the airport. Yeah. 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 You know. <laughs> I do know. You know. Four but I mean, it's true though. I mean, it's it's like even even if you're say you're a, a casual Bond fan. You're an adult. You're not going to Target looking for Lego. Right. But it does help to see it. Yeah. Just to say, be reminded of, oh, yeah, you know, new Bond film. It's like Star Wars is everywhere. Everywhere in every department at your local Target. Whether it's apparel. Right. Or yeah, they drinkware. No, or everywhere. I mean, even my even wife like bought below. gold fish that are shaped like R2-D2 the other day. What? See what I'm saying? It's everything. Wait, we don't goldfish need... cracker? Yeah. Like she held one I up. I didn't know that. She was eating one. She's like, it's shaped like R2D2. It's like Star Wars. Did you grab the bag? I can't eat them. Lactose intolerant. Wait, there's lactose in goldfish? It's cheddar cheese. I don't think it's real cheddar. It's in there. Mm. Trust me, I've checked. We'll look it up. I've checked. Um, Fact check. Fra I have a question for you. So, magic wand time. If somebody said in six months you could have the best. Mm. Star Wars film come out. I mean, it satisfies every one of your childhood dreams, this mm -hmm. movie. I mean, it's got the best characters, best effects, great story, amazing sound, everything. Or, in six months, a new Bond film. Ooh. <laughs> Which one would you go for right so now? So it would be the Bond film. Okay. That's a no-brainer, because they are making the Star Wars film that I would want to see. Are they? Yeah, with Rey. It's all about a new Jedi Order. So as a Star you Wars see a Star fan, Wars film with Ray? Well, it's not so much that it's Ray, it's like part going back to the Obi-Wan series, what I like they showed a lot of the Order 66 oh, okay. stuff. Got so it. I want to see more of I like I want to see a film with just a ton of Jedi yeah. training and learning and almost like a Bond film where they're going out on a mission. Yeah. But it's Jedi. Okay. Hopefully that's what they've got coming. But no, it would be a Bond film for sure because we're so without. Yeah, exactly. We're so without. I mean, because I can go rewatch Andor. I've seen Andor once. I can go rewatch it. Right. I just rewatched seven, eight, and nine. I've only seen nine once in the theater. Right. I didn't care to see it again. I rewatched it the other day. It's not as bad. By the way, do you know why six is so afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Annie, you call that a joke? <laughs> Annie, I thought you'd use your force powers to be funnier, Annie. I have people that owe me some debt. Uh, 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 you call that a Jedi? What about you? What? Star Wars or Bond? It's Bond. James Bond. Sure. Yeah. Dumb question. I would. I would take. 
I would take a mediocre Bond movie uh -huh. over the most amazing Star Wars film right now. I mean, I still, that's where my passion lies. But I, I, here's what I would really want more than anything. Let's play a little bit more of the reality game. I would take an announcement from Barbara Brock yes. saying, guys, in two and a half years, you're going to have a new Bond movie, summer, May 20, May, uh, May 24th in two summers yeah. or three summers, whatever, yeah. than any kind of announcements around Star Wars. I would like, I'll take it even a step further, do what Star Wars does. Oh. Say, here's the new Bond. Welcome, Aaron Taylor Cavill. Who's it going to be? Yeah. We're going to have a new Bond film in 2025, 2028, 2031. Ooh. Guaranteed three films yeah. with him. And by the way, I feel like Boom. they could do that. They could plan that out. Oh, and Christopher Nolan's directing all three. Oh, well. <laughs> Seriously, though. I mean, yeah. just... Why not? Why, like... Dream big. When when something like Oppenheimer comes out, yeah. and he's out, and the movie's as successful as it is, I mean, and he's him. Everything he makes is fantastic. I know. Well, we he's a star the of Oppenheimer. the other day. It's good. It's fantastic. Yeah. Everything Christopher Nolan makes. Even Memento. Even his older ones. Is, I mean, Memento's really unreal. Just, Dark Knight is great. You yeah. know, whatever. But it's like somebody asked him, would you like to do a Bond film? And he said, like, I'd be absolutely honored. If I, I'm Barbara and I hear that, I'd be calling him right then. Well, they, they spoke it already. He even says they spoke. Well, I would be like, let's do this then. Let's. Well, do you want to do three? You can do three. So let's talk about Barbara Broccoli. I have a question for you. Yeah. Would you rather... This is going to be a tough one, too. It's not going to be obvious. Even though, you know I'm not afraid to, to say what I want to say. Yeah. Would you rather spend half a day with Barbara Broccoli talking about the James Bond franchise, or would you rather spend half a day with George Lucas talking about the Star Wars franchise? That's a tough question. It is a tough question because I feel like they would both equally be annoyed to talk to me for half a day. Oh, really? You'd complain? No, no. I just feel like they wouldn't be thrilled. Would they both be like, Chomping at the bit to yes, sit and talk they, to me. They basically want to speak to you because they see you're an Uber fan. They love your videos. And they want to talk to you about the direction of the franchise. God, that's tough. Who, whose party do you show up for? Now, I will say this. Barbara has snacks. <laughs> George does free. not. <laughs> They're not dairy free. <laughs> and that's the dilemma. God. She has cream filled cream donuts. I honestly think it might be George Lucas. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, by the way, part of me says George Lucas only from the standpoint of that's the guy. Yeah, I mean, and we I mean, can talk about, I mean, Spielberg was involved with some of these films. It's just like, you, it's, I don't know. I, I and, and it's like, to be honest with you, the Bond films pre-Barbara, not that there's any, you know, she's done great work too. Yeah. But they were a really well-oiled machine when it came to her father. It was just like every couple years, really good movie. And yeah. even if, some of them weren't the best. Like, they were still what you were looking yes. for. And it's like, with Star Wars, I feel like it was it just so... I mean, the technology that went into it, like ILM and all that, there's mm -hmm. so much groundbreaking. I, I just feel like it maybe be a little more... Changes the game. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I would like... I you know, I mean, but... And I will say, there was, you know, the some of the most recent documentaries that came out about Bond, we found out a little more about sean and cubby and right that you know there's certain things that questions i would have that have kind of been answered yeah where star wars i feel like you could just come up Go with on and on and on things. well that's the whole thing like when you're a little kid playing with star wars figures you invented your own movies and scenarios mm -hmm. that's why i played with star wars figures for a lot of years of my life and still have some mm -hmm. and it's because you can invent and create with bond it's a little bit different yeah you know it's it's hard to sit there like think about a young person creating bond movies in their head yeah it's just i mean it's and i think maybe this might be a cheat answer but oh. even watching the most recent film episode nine which i do like more now than the first time i saw it because certain things that i would like to see i saw i did give me see one quotable line from episode nine the end no come on i don't have give a me one quote line. I don't have a quote, but it's like, I like to see Ray get better because I play a lot of the video games, Force okay. Awakens or whatever the games were called, what are the games called? Force Unleashed. But the part in nine where she like force grabs that ship as it's taking off, right? things like that are cool because in the games, There's stuff like the that. Jedi are getting much stronger. And it's like, even in Obi-Wan, the series, 
there wasn't really much that Obi-Wan or Darth Vader did that was super force just wild. Well, where it's like you're talking about Vader strong to stop that ship. Like he kind of it hung, yeah. it got away. But yeah, but that's like... that's it. Yeah. But he's supposed to be the most powerful Jedi, Jedi of all time. Yeah. Um questionable. Yeah. But it's like I've lost my train of thought. Hey, why is that guy all in black? So it looks so familiar. He looked like Oh, I remember what it was. I remember what it was. No Time to Die, it the that was the first Bond film that did not feel like an escape from reality. Oh and no. And whether you like 7 8 9, it's still an escape from reality. It's a completely That's created a very good point. world and That's you know really there's good. nostalgia involved. All so again, Star things. Wars wins in that case. Yeah, because I mean, I used to walk out of a Bond film feeling like I could take on the world. And now I walked out of No Time to Die. I truly was. You felt I like, felt like I, I felt like I had gotten dumped. Yeah, you did. It was truly the same. You did. Jokes aside, though. Yeah. I felt awful for yeah. days. For Question. many reasons. So is there a potential for this channel to go from Bond's apartment to Watto's, apartment. Watto's Garage? No. Watto's Garage. That's a good name for a YouTube That is channel. a good one. Or um, Jabba's. Palace. Hey, if you like this video, smash and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta sign up. I'm a Tardarian. Hey, what about Patreon? Subscribes don't work on me. Give me some, <laughs> give me some shackles here. Likes and subscribes don't work on me. Why you gotta be so stingy? <laughs> like the Jedi. What else? Padu the Padawan Outpost? What's that with Jedi? What's the There's one, the one called the Padawan Collector. I follow him. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, I like that guy. he's got good stuff. He does. Speaking of which, oh, sorry, sorry for the Bond fans, but no, you know yeah, all really the vintage sorry. collection, all that stuff. Yes, and they're coming out with the Ghost, the Star Wars Rebel. Oh, I saw ship. it. I saw it. It's, it's like five hundred. So I have yeah. to buy it though. Really? I have to. Does it come with the figures? I don't know if it comes with the figures, but it comes with the detachable. Yeah, like, I saw that. I saw that. That's bad. It's amazing. Ass. It is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I love those figures. When it comes to Star Wars toys and collectibles the ships are my number one i feel star wars feels very different to me than bond in general so maybe it's this whole thing's been a tough comparison because star wars oh, almost like feels good. like hollowed ground for me from a nostalgic standpoint like when yeah. i get a star wars toy in or i get anything in from star wars or i'm even watching star wars i feel like there's a certain aura about me as strange as it sounds but i feel like i'm removed yeah. whereas a bond film like i'm more studied like it's my adult life. Yeah. yeah Whereas yeah, yeah. Star Wars is more my childhood. Come you feel back like to you me. can still learn things. Yes. Okay. Let me ask you this. Okay. So David's basement, his collection. Bond's basement. David's basement. The experience basement yeah. is a Bond fan's nightmare. ultimate dream come true. Oh no no no! It's a wife's nightmare. Yes. Um. So say I had a similar looking basement, but it was all Star Wars. Oh my god! I would love it. Which would you geek out more about? And I know it's difficult because this is your collection. So, but like if because when I come in here and I go from, I mean, even No Time to Die, a lot of this stuff I either have or had access to get or, you know. Yeah. But as you work your way to the older films. It's more unique. Exactly. Yeah. But what if I had the same setup with Star Wars? Which do you think right would just now, be so Right nuts? now? Yeah. In 2023, right now. I would probably geek out over the Star Wars stuff. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. But I mean, it'd just be, God, if we're talking, I'd need seven or eight basements. <laughs> First of all, it is because... And you can say this objectively, or what is it, subjectively, because you can pretend this isn't your collection. Oh, so... Like, so pretend this isn't yours either, and you have oh. a choice to geek out over one or the oh, other. Oh, no, it would definitely be this. Bond? Yeah. Over Star Wars? Yes. Really? Well, because if this isn't my collection, but the fact that this is my collection, I see it three times yeah yeah no no that the no. star wars one would make me geek out more yeah yeah but yeah, as a bond even, fan, so even still so say this yeah. i had say i had this this massive home and i had a bond wing and a star wars wing you would gravitate towards the bond wing yes because i would wow. be looking to see even with this collection i'd be like oh does he have that and does he have i am that? truly shocked there? yeah legitimately shocked good good that's what i wanted Why? to do because my heart and my lean is still very significantly towards James Bond. Wow. Of course it is. I mean, Star Wars is great. I need to have other interests other than Bond. Yeah. Like my family. 
Yeah, I, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I'm surprised. Good. Good. But you know who isn't? Hey, Andy! I'm shocked! Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Luke, David. And Watto. And Watto. And whatever his name is. <laughs> What's Salacious this Crumb. Salacious Crumb. You want to you take us out, Salacious? Yeah, he does actually. Hold on a second.